Guys, a lot of things is happening in this game right now. Update 1.22 is behind corners. We have new tanks coming, new events. And also, yesterday, we got uh, quite a massive leak about Mirny 13. Preliminary information. And this is actually big. If everything in this uh, uh, leaked uh, information ends up uh, being true. Uh, yesterday, I was getting spammed by a couple links, actually, talking about this um, in my inbox. Uh, so, if you have not heard about that yet let me inform you about this uh, first in today's news episode so we are over here on ricochet.info this was the link that was shared with me the first uh, about this information and where i saw this uh, the first time this is a polish uh, world thanks blog or a news site right uh, uh, Mirny 13 preliminary information and uh, by the way keep in mind everything over here is translated straight from Polish to English using Google Translator so if you see any typos this is the reason and also of course as this is a leak nothing has been confirmed by Wargaming uh, so everything is subject to change take it with a grain of salt keep that in mind big warning 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 right Significant development resources were devoted to the final third chapter, but this mode will no longer be available in the game. This marks the end of the story related to this mode. So, this upcoming Mirny 13 special game mode, special event, is going to be most likely going to be the final in the storyline, and they want to end it with a bang. For completing the Mirny 13 mode, players will receive a variety of rewards, including a unique crew, patches, decals, and in-game resources. But in addition, the reward will also be a new, unique premium tank, Tit Rozanov, the Tier 8 Soviet premium tank, which uh, has been spotted on the EU server, and I have made a video about that as well, as you can see on the background. Uh, this is from my video. If you want to see more about this tank, uh, you can uh, check out the link, uh, but uh, this has been balanced uh, uh, to the lower DPM version, <coughs> what you saw in this video, because it had two versions. It had the crazy DPM version and also it had the lower DPM version, a lot lower, like the craziest DPM was absolutely through the roof. But Titrozanov might be the end reward for this. And if we closely look at the roadmap, what they released something like one month ago, talking about the Japanese heavy tanks as well. And if we stop over here, we have a guy that looks awfully similar to Titrozanov. Well, the big massive giveaways are, of course, the massive tits, I mean, the wheels in front of the tank. Of course, it has two barrels over here and a little bit wider double track action, but uh, this. To me, looks like Titrosanov, so maybe things are starting to add up over here, and if we indeed would be able to get this completely for free as uh, a reward for pro progressing, quite a massive banger into this game mode for sure. In addition, the tank will be equipped with a D uh, themed 3D style. To get it, you will have to collect uh, the decryptions, uh, decryption keys during battles. These keys will unlock memories and tapes. When you collect all 15 tapes, you will receive Tit Rosanov. In fact, the mere success of beating the mode means beating all phases on all difficulty levels. Nothing has changed in this regard. And I do remember the final, uh, the immortal difficulty level was pretty damn nuts, actually. And uh, there was one season where it was extremely, extremely hard to beat. But if you did it, you felt very freaking successful, right? Very freaking good. In addition, new themed 3D styles for 2023 will be available for gold, including the style for Action X, Lynx 6x6 and Bofor Stormman as well. Uh, the tanks uh, available for rent uh, for this mode will be the same as the last time. Uh, Malahide, uh, the D54, then the Duplet IS-32, uh, Grenadier, D49, uh, then Hornet, AMX 1390, uh, then uh, uh, Kerberos, Cerberus, Centurion Mark 71, and Legio Ferrata, Progetto 66. As for the new bosses, bots, and additional mechanics, 
we can discuss that later. Overall, the goat so far still holds true. New enemies, bots and bosses will appear in the mode. The immortal will be supported by other bosses in three difficulty levels. Our goal is to provide a varied uh, variety gameplay that uh, becomes more challenging as the players progresses in the game mode and also in the different, uh, you know, difficulty levels as well. Uh, while maintaining a variety of tactics and skill. In addition, we will introduce new mechanics such as invisibility to the enemy and planned reloads. Uh, so this is currently leaked information about Mirny 13. Once again, I cannot say that enough that this is a leak. It uh, might end up being true, it might not end up being true, but usually those leaks have been kind of accurate uh, and seems like we are going to get the chance for a free premium tank, for a free tier 8 premium tank, did Rosanov, maybe it ends up, uh, or maybe it finds a way in the loot boxes uh, somehow, but if it is actually a progression reward, uh, then uh, if you beat all the stages, all the bosses, you might be able to get it, which in this game mode can make sense, guys, because I know for a fact that uh, not... Uh, like every single player, maybe not even too many players, were able to beat in one year, uh, or it was, I don't remember if it was first year, second year, uh, when every player was able to even beat the final boss level, because that needed like full platoon of coordinated movements, coordinated attacks, uh, especially in the final level, beating the final boss uh, in the final position. Uh, so it can make sense uh, this being a reward because not every single player is able to get it uh, simply with a snap of their fingers. Uh, so if this is the way they do things, it would be kind of cool, right? Uh, in in all honesty, to send this game mode off with a bang. But guys, only time will tell. Are you excited about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Because moving on to the next topic, and this is Onslaught, which is coming back and updated one point. 22 at the same time as well because in that video and article about onslaught they said the onslaught season of the azure pegasus starts on september 6th so that means we can expect update 1.22 next week i would say tuesday wednesday is the day when the update is going to drop so be ready for that with all the vehicle rebalance map rebalance uh, um, then British wheel medium tanks and many more things, including this uh, Azure Pegasus uh, onslaught season. Introducing a tier 10 reward vehicle as well for playing this game mode, Hurricane. Um, this is a skinned CS63, basically. This is a special edition CS63, which most likely is going to get the reward and category, which... Uh, hopefully earns you bonds and also you're able to put your same nation crew members into this vehicle without any penalty. It is going to be kind of a trophy tank uh, uh, for you to show off uh, if you are able to get it and if you want to get it, well, expect a lot of grinding because uh, you need to reach uh, legend rank. I'm not sure if you need to simply reach the legend rank or you need to stay at that rank as well when the season ends. Well, either way, expect a lot of grinding if you you want to get this tank. So Onslaught season is coming up next week. You're going to play it, you're not going to play it. What is your take on it? Let me know. There are also some changes like some new maps, some map rebalancing, no RT in the game mode anymore. You're not able to jump into artillery anymore. Uh, so yeah, some changes uh, going into this game mode. You excited about that? Hit me up, guys. And final thing I want to cover in today's video is what monthly September 2023 they released the events, the upcoming events and information about September. And we have quite a lot of events coming up. For example, Battle Pass Season 12 is starting as well. Season 12 takes us to Mirny 13. So Mirny 13 themed Battle Pass event over here. This is the final uh, season this year. And at the end of this season, guys, make sure to spend your for battle bass tokens, for premium tanks, for uh, uh, equipment, uh, for whatever. Just spend them because uh, those will be taken away after this season and next year it resets once again. Now, top of the three vehicles, Jagdpanzer E100 and Object 140. So guys, whoo, this guy is hitting hard 
be ready to get smacked in the face by 1000 damage or alpha damage and 420 heat pen from the Arc Panzer E100. 140, well, I guess uh, 140 is also... This is actually a very nice tank, but, uh, you know, not super played right now, but still, it is a very good tank, I would say. So, the Arc Panzer is simply scary. Onslaught... Uh, uh, the season of Azure Pegasus, a new token store, new Twitch uh, drops are coming, guys. Uh, Twitch.tv slash games, and I'm live right now as well, actually. Uh, Clan Showdown event over here, Roll uh, Britannia, new uh, British Wield Medium Tanks, and Waffentrager event, uh, the follow-up to the Waffentrager Legacy is coming with battle taking, battles taking place in 6v1 format with 6 players in upgraded pattern, budget 140 and TVP, uh, confront a single tanker in uh, command of Blitztrager of E110, so exactly like last couple years, stay tuned for, uh, or stay tuned to the World of Tanks portal, for more information on this upcoming event and uh, this is what we can expect in September and uh, maybe some other other hidden things and events also on the top of that. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for tuning in today. What do you think about all of that? Mirni 13 leaks, uh, Pegasus uh, monthly events. Let me know in the comment section down below. That is me done. I love you all. Stay awesome. Take care and bye.